morning everybody uh, today I'm going to be uh, hard boiling quail eggs and I know they're much smaller I love hard boiled quail eggs they have a wonderful um, they have a much bigger ratio of egg to egg white than the chicken eggs so you're going to be getting much more egg yolk and it's going to be much more creamy so I'm going to be washing these I've got five dozen this is our homesteading brand right here and um, for some reason my quail have been going crazy and I've been selling them like crazy but this is I, I've got to use these up so I'm going to be washing these and um, I'm going to take you guys along okay so I get a big bowl of water and I gently put the eggs in the water to wash them and this is where you really check your eggs well. If they're cracked, anything, dump them. And if you've got floaters, dump them. So this was the first dozen. So you wash them carefully. Now if you wash them too hard, you're going to scrub the spots off. And I kid you not, you will scrub the spots off. Now I have all the same quail. But for some reason, they like to lay their own crazy little egg. So make sure you get all the dirt off. Usually there's no dirt on my quail eggs because they have a hay nest and, and they nest in sand. So I get all this off. <clears throat> I'm going to lay out a towel. So these are clean. And I do a dozen at a time. Just lay them out there. So let me get the rest done. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I mean by floaters. Look at these eggs. Look at that. These were all gathered at the same time, so I don't know what's going on with these eggs. But these that are floating, I'm going to toss. You know, they could be okay, but I don't want to take that chance. So this one is just, it's like hollow or something. I don't know what the heck's going on with that. But those are what I'm talking about when I say floaters. Okay, so I have all the eggs washed off. Got rid of the floaters. Now, I mean, you can, you can pick, you know, you can pick up five or six eggs out of the nest, in, you know, all on the same day, and two of them could be floaters. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason. Some, like on chicken eggs, it, that's how you tell how old the chicken eggs are. But with these quail eggs, I've gotten quail eggs that there's nothing in them. Not even a yolk. It's just a shell. So they're just really freaky. But just to be on the side of caution, I do always throw out the floaters. So the eggs are all washed. Got my pot of water going. And once I get the water a slow boil or just, you know, not a raging boil, but just a slow boil. I'm going to put the eggs in, and they're going to go in for five minutes. Okay, the water just started boiling. I'm going to put the quail eggs in. Oops, I forgot my spoon. Forgot my spoon. I use a ladle. don't even wash the quail eggs but I do because if there's a crack and they have poo or something I don't want to subject my eggs to something freaky so um, like I said the yolks on the quail eggs the, the, the proportion to yolk to the white is much bigger on a quail egg than it is a chicken so you have much more yolk to eat it's much more creamier when you go to use it in like um, macaroni salad or potato salad or anything like that and you don't have to salt them you don't do anything now last year I pickled a whole bunch of quail eggs and they were fantastic but um, this year I'm gonna boil them so we got them all in there and I'm gonna let them go for five minutes so I'm gonna set my timer Whoops. 
shoot, I forgot. Anyway, I'm gonna set my timer once I figure out how to do it. Okay, so the five minutes are up. Now what I do is I immediately put them in a bowl of ice water. You wanna get that stopped. You don't wanna have overdone eggs. If your water's cold enough, just use cold water, but I always have an excess of ice, so. Okay, so I'm gonna let these sit in there. Here we go. Okay guys, so here's the next step. So, you're gonna take the eggs out of the ice bath. You can put them in a pan or you can put them um, in a bowl, whatever you wanna do. But the membrane on quail eggs is very thick. And a lot of people have a hard time um, cracking, them, cracking the shell. So what you're going to be doing, after I get all this out, I should have done it before the video. My hands, I guess. Oh, that's pretty cold. Pretty cold. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's colder. Ooh. So, you got all the eggs in there. They're chilled. So now what you're going to do, you're going to cover them with white vinegar. So you're going to cover them with white vinegar and you're going to leave them in it for two hours. Now what that's going to do is, you see how these are a plain color? Well, they're going to, these are going to start to look like that. And then within two hours, the shell will be actually almost gone. And you can just pull that hard membrane off and keep these ready to eat in your fridge. Do not put them in here longer than two hours. Because after, once it starts hitting towards three hours, you're actually pickling your eggs and they might have a vinegary taste. So I'm going to let these go for two hours and I'll be back to show you. Okay guys, um, it's been about an hour and a half. And I'm going to show you, you see how foamy it is? Look at this. See how it all dissolves it? Look at the eggs. See how it all comes off? That's the, that's the brown on the egg. And this one's pretty soft. I'm going to leave it in for another few minutes. You don't want to do more than two hours. See all that? See how all that comes off? It's just their camouflage. Now see this one's real soft. So I'm going to leave it in there for another oh, 20 minutes or so, 20, 25 minutes. So time is up on these. You see how all that comes off? Now these are very, very soft. You set this down here. Okay, so let me see here. I'm going to try and find... Okay, here's a soft one. Real soft. And you see how those peel right off? Now you don't have to soak them in the vinegar. But, um, you see, I don't know if you can see, you see this, that membrane? This is really, really thick. And if you don't soak them in a vinegar, you have a really, just a heck of a time getting these shells off. So, that worked out beautifully. And now I'm going to take this egg and I'm going to put it back in the ice water. 
to keep it clean and keep it cold. So I'm going to finish doing these and I'll be right back. Okay, these are all done. Now they're all clean, all ready to go. I'll even try one. Oh, yummy. Oh, my. Those are a good little snack. Perfect for little kids to come get them right out of the fridge. So I'm going to cover it with plastic and I'm going to put them in the fridge. So there you go. Have a cool day.